Yarrow's been around for at least 4,000 years, documented. 4,000 years. So think about it. And you're looking at someone and you're like, wow, you know, that guy was bleeding to death. He got up and he walked away. He must be a god. He has to be immortal, right? This is the kind of thinking that you're going to be possessed of because this is a different time where nothing's in writing, where scientists aren't around to explain things. And those people that had this knowledge guarded it carefully. They kept it in code, and they didn't want to reveal to you that it was just this plant I was hiding back here. They want you to think that they're godlike. Because that way they could have power. It's all about politics in the end. Which doctor sent you? <laughs> so Achilles was considered to be immortal. And his men really respected that. Because they were fighting with a guy who could not be killed. The men had the horrible wounds. And he would just get up, he'd put on a few plants, he'd put it under his armor, put it in a place where nobody could see it. Then he'd go out and say a few of the magic words over his own men. He'd save their lives through the use of these plants. And they're not, they're not computing it as it's a plant, they're computing it as it's Achilles doing this. So he was magical, the man was this incredible warrior, but here we are. We have one of the greatest warriors of all time all time. The legends, the stories about this man. As a matter of fact, my long tendon right here, this extra long tendon that allows me to jump a little higher than the next person, is my Achilles tendon, because Achilles could jump. Again, he was using plants. He was using what we call defense compounds that would assist him in his growth, because his mother knew what he was doing. So Achilles was a man of great valor. Yet, his strength came from a plant. Think about it. This What's is Achilles. on the term Achilles heel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's another story, too. What head of hair is unruly and red? Okay. There was a 4,000-year-old village in Orkney, Scotland, where they found evidence that heather was used in ropes, bedding, roofs, walls, tea, women's baskets, and in poultice and medicine. Heather was used everywhere. It was used as a dye to bring the clans together. At every clan ceremony, they would burn Heather. Now, we've lost this. We have Tartan Day, and nobody even remembers Heather. We have Tartan Day, and no one burns Heather. We'd all be arrested, and we'd be out there on the Eastern Tour with those two guys who were enlisted as arsons. <laughs> so we don't want to do that. But it is a tradition, like burning incense. Incense. When many of us think of burning incense, we think of something illegal or somebody using drugs or some, you know, some negative connotation. When in fact our own ancestors burned heather as a way to bring the clans together. It was symbolic. And it was I, and it was an important plant. It was used for all sorts of things, and it was used medicinally. Now, one way that Heather would have been used would be used to braid it. Now, do I have any volunteers out there that would like to braid some Heather? No one? You would just simply twist it together in three, like this. You just go back and forth, put it together like this until you had yourself a braid. And you could use that in your walls, in your beds, in your roofs. It was used like thatch. Very important plant. And 4,000 years of history are involved in that plant. The next item is, what cup of tea does this plant make that calms your nerves? Chamomile, again. And did anyone find the chamomile? Could you tell by the smell of it, possibly? If you smell it, you can tell, even in this state, without its tiny little flower, that it is chamomile. So that's an important plant. Also, you are always running out of this. Time, time. Let me tell you about these. Chamomile was brought to the colonies by the Hessians. But who were those guys? They were hired guns. Again, you have your warriors. They were feared men. These guys were scary, <laughs> you know, with their sharpened razor teeth. And they were hired by the Brits to come over here and kill Americans. I mean, that's scary enough. 
But these guys on their own right, you're talking about Achilles-style scary. These were warriors, and guess what? Again, we've got a group of guys who carried plants around with them. Why? Because in their most ancient traditions of all, warriors carried plants with them from place to place. They carried their own portable medicine. When I was at Burns night, Bob had his little Scottish, what do you call it? <coughs> yeah, he had it right there in front of him. And out of it, he pulled out a bag of heather seeds. And I thought, wow, I'll bet Bob has no idea how many thousands of years warriors have been practicing this same thing. They carry their medicine in their little pouches. The Romans, some of the most disciplined, incredibly intelligent, strategically savvy people of all time carried around plants. They carried their own portable medicine, and it was in the form of a plant. The best warriors, including the Hessians, brought their own plants. So who do we have to thank for those chamomile, for that sleep-inducing chamomile? We have German chamomile. We also have English chamomile. So it was actually brought about by the Romans. So it was introduced here by soldiers. Again, it's amazing because we always think of plants as kind of a, a women's thing or a retired person thing, when in fact our most valiant people our bravest warriors were people who were educated on the use of plants. So these plants, you guys, are not just the focus of ladies. They have a heritage of sound science that's being used right now. You are always running out of this. Well, I talked about time, but not really. This is antispasmodic. It's an export torrent. It's antimicrobial. And what did we say antimicrobial was? It stops bacteria. It gets rid of microbes. And this is called thymus vulgaris. And this is the one you use, thymus vulgaris. And this comes from our dear old England, our British Isles. It grows wild everywhere in Europe. It was considered a weed, but it was used as medicine. It was brought over by your earliest ancestors. So time, thymus vulgaris, remember that, because this is a very, very important plant. It increases heart rhythms. It lowers arterial pressure. It lowers blood pressure. If you have an emergency, you can boil this up and you've got your medicine. And what's most important about it is it's so available. You can throw this in your salad, you can throw it in your meal every single day and have what we call a defense compound. And what is a defense compound again? Something that prevents disease. So parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. And thyme is a very important plant. This is approved in Germany for treatment of bronchitis. Hi, this stuff. <laughs> yeah, and everybody's, you know, well, no way, no way. I'm telling you, time. It was used by my ancestors for hundreds of years. We were not sick people. Nobody in my family ever got sick. Mainly because we had someone who was always practicing with herbs, always using herbs on a daily basis. It was part of your, our diet. And we've forgotten what our daily diet used to be. We're Scots, we're all sitting here, but we've forgotten what our roots are, and I mean our real roots. <laughs> we've forgotten where we come from. We've got to go back to these old ways and start adding them to our diet again. We've got to start spicing up and herbing our life a little bit with some of the things that were brought to us as part of our heritage. This is also approved in Germany for whooping cough and inflammation of the upper respiratory tract. Boil it, make a tea. Again, it belongs to the mint family. And that is important. And the last one, of course, is what was named after the Latin word for medicine? Medicine plant. Okay, <laughs> medicine plant. <laughs> Does anybody recognize this? Those of you that uh, are in the kitchen? <laughs> sage. Sage. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. 
Now, has anyone heard this? And again, this is code. This is your ancestors speaking to you across the centuries. Let's put a salve on it. Okay? I'm getting some nods, right? Sure. Salvia is the name of this plant in Latin. Why? Because it's medicine. They're telling you, put a salve on it. Put some sage on it. 